Hi, I'm Andre and I want to tell you about our climate car strategy game Bicarbonize. Uh, Bicarbonize is a game that puts you in reign of a uh, global world in an effort to tackle the climate change and reduce carbon emissions. We have four main sectors, people, industry, science and ecosystems, which represent four different ways that the climate uh, crisis and climate change plays out in our globalized dynamic society. And you have to balance those four sectors out in order to win the game and avert the uh, worst possible scenario and the world catastrophe. Uh, so the main mechanic of the game are cards. Those cards represent inventions, represent policies, represent uh, different uh, aspects of how to battle climate change, but also how to tackle, say, energy production. Uh, from the get-go you're presented with the industry on the 20th century card and for, you start from there and you can go with, with uh, very different routes. You can, for example, really go heavy on uh, renewable sources like solar and improve on that or you can maybe try to research nuclear while balancing it out by science or ecosystem protection and so forth. Uh, at all times the emission bar is visible because every card or a majority of cards uh, generate emissions with every turn and you have to be mindful of that because when, when you reach a certain emission point you will get to a tipping point and things will get a little or uh, <laughs> very much more dire and those dire circumstances the world and our simulation reacting to your play style and to the uh, style you choose to lead the world with uh, are event cards, which are in the upper right corner, and those represent catastrophes, social unrest, all the different, uh, all the different ways climate crisis uh, happens and uh, makes itself visible. So we have heat waves, we have world hungers, we have migrations, we have uh, glacier melting, with all kinds of real-world scenario. What is important is that Bicarbonize is fully backed by an expert opinion by people in the need, which is a leading Czech NGO, uh, which created the game with us. So every card you will find in Bicarbonize, even the more speculative and futuristic ones, especially in the science sector, are based on the real climate science and checked with uh, uh, actual people who are professionals and academics in that field. But we wanted to make a cool game first, and, and uh, in an effort to maybe entice also players who are not so keen on playing a game that is solely about climate change, uh, but those who uh, would like a challenge, strate strategic depth. So uh, Bicarbonize has currently, uh, I'm talking about the version that is out now in April 2023, but we'll be releasing a big update later. But as of now, we have five different ways you can win and we are not prescriptive, prescriptive, so you can choose by yourself if you want to use the power of industry or go very hard on uh, nature conservation, use uh, social policies and political policies, policies or go the futurist way. Uh, but at the core of it all, our carbon emissions and the main takeaway of our game if you would be looking for one is that we need to start as ipcc panel for climate change confirmed in their last report we have to start really aggressively uh tackling the uh, uh, the carbon emissions or the warming will just get out of hand uh, but we don't say what's the right way to do it but we present you with an array of choices and, and pathways uh, which and on your way you will encounter all different ideas ranging from teeth growth, local solutions, uh, maybe even futurist, futurist genetic manipulation or different kinds of power plant and mining operations that can show you the whole range of different solutions and approaches that are present in the real world. We have really uh, kind of drawn on the approach that Ayn Bogos describes as procedural rhetoric because climate change and climate crisis is such a di massively distributed and complex and dynamic system that is hard to capture it from a single vantage point that we decided to make, make, make it into a full-fledged simulation that is trying to model the situation and enables, it, uh, enables players to tackle it head-on and hands-on. 
to stay a little bit more uh, academic or educational uh, while the game isn't necessarily your uh, traditional serious game we have in-game encyclopedia where you can read about every card you will gradually discover there's 120 of them currently and we'll adding we will be adding more and uh, those encyclopedia entries will tell you more about a uh, given topic, uh, given in invention, given intervention that is uh, somehow related to uh, the current policy and policy avenues. We were directly inspired by games such as Stacklands or Cultist Simulator in their abstract top-down card strategy approach. Uh, but we, uh, I think, we developed our own way to use those uh, this genre, maybe like roguelike adjacent resource management sim, to kind of uh, be able to create an abstract model of our current political state and climate crisis. And judging from the reviews we've got so far, uh, we are we are we are at four point eight out of five uh, stars on Apple App Store. Uh, the strategy of doing a game that is not only serious and about a serious topic with due diligence and research and all, but also is a challenging game that <laughs> kind of entices players to uh, min-max it, speedrun it and do all the different kinds with it, is paying off. Because there's a lot of people who do appreciate that we made a, a, a game and a cool and great and fun game to play first. Uh, and uh, then uh, all sorts of different things in regards to policies and public opinion can happen.